Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Talia. If you're not new here, welcome back. And I'm looking a little busted, but do you know what that means? It means I'm back with another hair video for you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a at-home silk press. So if you guys want your silk press to look like you just came out the hair salon, keep on watching. first things first we are going to deep condition our hair I usually deep condition my hair every two weeks and these are the products I use to deep condition my hair I use this hair mask do some type of oil I use coconut oil because I like the way coconut oil make my hair feel you could use any type of oil I also use a spray bottle to um, like make my hair kind of wet so I can put the hair mask in so let's get started so I'm gonna take a towel because it gets messy that's why I have on a shirt just a shirt that I don't care about to do this because you don't want your clothes to get wet so I'm gonna take a towel and then I'm gonna take a comb and section my hair off I'm gonna section it into four parts that I got my hair parted into four sections I just combed it out so when I put the water on my hair my hair won't be tangled now I'm gonna go in with this spray bottle and I'm about to start spraying it just want your hair to be damped you don't want it soaking soaking wet Alright, now that I feel like my hair is damped enough, I'm going to take a little bit of my hair mask and do like this and put it all over my hair. Make sure you go in between your hair so you can get everything. Even get your scalp, get the ends of your hair, even break the hair apart and go in between. Now I'm gonna take my coconut oil. Like I said before, you can use any type of oil you want for your hair. I'm just gonna massage that into my hair like I did the hair mask. Now that I'm done putting the product in my hair, I'm gonna take two pieces and just twist it up. And then I'm going to put it back into like a little ball, get my clip, and put the clip right back on it so it can hold it. Now I'm going to move on to the next section. You're going to repeat the same steps how you did before. Wet it, hair mask, and oil. This is how my head look once I put the oil hair mask in. Next, I'm gonna take a plastic cap and put the cap over my head just like that. Cause now we are about to go under the dryer and sit under there for about 20 minutes. 
So this is the hooded dryer I use. I'm gonna sit under here for 20 minutes. If you don't have a dryer at home, let the hair mask sit in your hair for about an hour and then wash it out. y'all we are from under the dryer i'm about to wash my hair out now y'all my hair is literally dripping you can tell my hair soaked all of that product in as it should the stuff that i'm washing my hair with they are all hydrating products because when I press my hair out, I don't know if this is like this for everybody, but when I press my hair out, sometimes my hair can get dry, I guess due to me washing it and then I'm putting heat on it. I just don't want it to get dry while my hair is pressed out. I want my hair to stay moisturized as much as possible. Plus it's the winter, so I just make sure that my hair stays hydrated at all times. So now that I'm done washing my hair, I'm about to go ahead and start blow drying my hair. This is the type of blow dryer I'm using. I got a full details tutorial on how to keep your hair healthy, all the products and the full details of my hair. It's called how to achieve the best healthy hair. So yeah, go check that video out if you guys want to know everything that I'm using, the products, every little detail. Go check it out. Before you get started, make sure you're using a heat protector. Do not spray so much because I feel like if you spray a lot, your hair can get like real stiff, especially like when you go and press it out. You want it to be flowy as possible, but also protect you from the heat. So try to not use so much. Use about two to three sprays. Another key to making sure your silk press is really silky and flowy, make sure your hair is squeaky clean before you finish washing your hair. One more tip, make sure your roots is really dried. I'm not finished blow drying, but um, but if your hair is puffy like this, I'm not gonna say your silk press gonna come out the worst, but it's not gonna come out the best. So just make sure your hair is fully blow dry. Make sure the roots is not puffy. Make sure the ends of your hair is not puffy. So two things, make sure your hair is fully clean, squeaky clean. And number two, make sure your roots and your ends is not puffy. This is how your hair should look once it's finished blow drying. If it's still puffy, go back in with the blow dryer and brush and just finish blow drying it until it looks like your hair is already straightened or halfway straightened. All right, y'all, let's get down to business. Make sure you guys put all your hair up, like so, so all your hair could be out the way. You wanna take a red tail comb and you wanna just make a little part like this. You want to take your flat irons. A lot of flat irons have the highest temperature that go to is 450. Put the temperature on the highest temperature. I want to show you guys a better example when I get to the top of my head. So right now, just watch this montage and I'll show you guys in a little. Make sure you're taking the comb and the flat irons and running the comb and flat irons through your hair at the same time. This step can be a little difficult, so if it's your first time, take your time, go slow so you can get the best results.
now that I'm finished pressing it, I am about to trim my ends a little bit. This is optional, you don't have to do this. Um, I probably trimmed my hair probably like three weeks ago. So I'm not gonna do a big trim. I'ma just like shape it up just a tiny bit. I'm gonna do my edges. Boom, y'all. That's how you achieve a nice silk press. Tell me I didn't just come out the shop. video you guys if you guys want to know how to maintain healthy length healthy hair in general even when you get silk presses in between just check out my video right here at the top hey you guys it's the next day and i just want to show you guys how to wrap your silk press i cannot end this video without showing y'all how to wrap your silk press so this is my silk press that obviously i did last night still pretty much straight you're going to need a net like this I think these are the nets that the Dominicans be wearing. So yeah, get one of the nets, get your comb, brush it to the side, and then put your net on, grab the hair. You wanna give it a little spin and take the hair and you just wanna tuck it under. Tuck it under, make it join the rest of the hair that's going this way. Make sure every piece of hair is in. Once all the hair is in, you just wanna twist it Whichever side you put the hair to, you want to twist it the same direction as the hair is going, and boom, that's how you do it. Make sure you put a bonnet on top to secure it, because if the net is not tight enough, the net can slip off, but if not, you know, all you need is a net. But to really secure it, just make sure you put a bonnet on top, and then you're all good to go. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.